now in previous modules we have talked about construction of self through language labels this process is so complex that it needs further elaboration and that we will do with new dimensions and with new additions in this module when we use language how we say that language gives us meaning it defines ourselves this is the process when we use language we express our affiliations and distancing for example you with whom you would like to have lunch and from whom would you like to have distance what are your political affiliations like this and through your language use you express your claim of membership of copc why i am here why i am member of this particular social group why i am with those people who talk about rights of women why i don't have with those people who don't talk who don't raise voice against women uh, uh, injustices and violence etc violence against women and injustices inflicted upon them and our acceptance our use of language also tells us also tells others as well our acceptance and rejection of social practices why i like this particular social program or activity and why i distaste or dislike certain other activities cop members of for you through the use of language express all these things your preferences your associations everything is known through your use of language then cop members have conflicts because as you have seen here when you have different associations affiliations and uh, you like something and uh, others may dislike uh, that something so it means the members would be different there would be conflict but why are they together in the same social group in the same cop actually the reason is that their goal is common and that common goal keeps them involved that keeps them socially engaged that keeps them socially in contact with regular contact with each other similarly cop constructs itself through common ways of using language by its members the first i would uh, uh, finish the relationship between individual self and cop and then we come to cop itself we have said that cop through cop we express ourselves our preferences ideas beliefs associations etc and on the basis of these we can see differences among the members why those members with different associations and ideas and preferences are at the same place they have common goal to understand it i would uh, like to give you an example for example you daily visit your college or cam uh, university campus all the people all your class fellows even they don't have same background same class same ideas same association but even then you daily meet each other in the class in the campus because your goal supersedes your goal is common and that goal side uh, puts these uh, differences aside now we come to cop's themselves a cop constructs itself through common ways of using language by its members 
in case of individuals there was joint growth and in case of cops what keeps them together what keeps them in a unified form that is the uniform use of language the language use tells others why a cop is similar to or different from others look the language of doctors the language of engineers the language of academics that would be different and their language would indicate their cop their social group it relates the cop with institutions and society at large as you have talked about doctors engineers and teachers through their language you know their social group you know their profession and then ultimately their institutions workplaces and through that you know the society in general because these institutions make up society social fabric the construction of an individual identity and that of a cop is an ongoing process these both processes of defining oneself through language giving meaning through language this is an ongoing process whether it is construction of individual identity whether it is construction of cop identity a change in members discourse now if this identity is linked with the use of language or discourse then if there is a change in use of language or discourse definitely it would affect the individual and cop together the membership of cops also constructs power relations among members how because members themselves come from different segments of society some may be from upper class some may be from middle class some may be from lower class they bring these power relations to cops and the same power relations are maintained retained in cops and this is how their power is also involved there in cop cops get this power relation from larger institutions larger classes and then from the society in general now we can conclude that language use in a cop is important part of defining meaning of social categories social categories means gender class etc and cells that means our identities